Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 81 in Alternative Energy Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, you'll find it on page 329. In any grid intertie residential electrical system, that's also known as an interactive system, that shares wiring between a wind turbine and the utility grid, precautions must be taken to prevent what? Well, first of all, let's look at one key word here, any. That means a system, whether it has batteries or not, any grid intertie residential electrical system should have precautions to avoid one of these things here, A, B, C, or D. The wind turbine should not generate more power than the home needs. Well, that's okay. In fact, uh, it's kind of nice if it does that, because if the wind turbine generates more power than the home needs, in some jurisdictions, I believe you can sell that excess back to the utility and actually get a check from the utility company instead of of getting a bill. I, uh, there is a certain offset though. You can't sell it back for as much as it costs you to buy it. There's a difference there uh, in order so that the electrical company can stay in business, I guess. But if you generate way more than the than uh, than your home needs. Uh, I wonder if there's ever been any evidence or any any actual cases where someone profited from the utility company and as the rates went up, which they always do, as uh, utility companies invest more and more in in these uh, modern technologies and it costs money to do that, they charge you and me. To, if the bills go up, but you're generating enough electricity to get a check from the power company. I wonder if they act if you people actually make even more money as the rates go up. I, I just wonder whether the consumer can ever win this kind of a battle or whether it the wheel is so fixed that the little guy loses as if it were written into the fiber of the universe. I'm getting a little bit facetious, but I think maybe those of you who get power bills lately in some places might not think that I'm too far off base there. Well, anyway, we can rule out A because we, we don't need to avoid that situation. How about B? Well, that's the answer. We don't want the turbine's electricity to get out of phase with the utility AC and and have them be connected together and buck each other because then you will not only lose efficiency but you could actually do damage to your wind turbine or it probably just blow the fuse or breaker somewhere and shut the whole system down but you want to avoid that we'll look at this uh, system in a minute see the wind turbine from becoming disconnected from the system well if that happens I mean it's too bad uh, in some cases it, it has to happen for example if the wind turbine has to shut down during a high wind or a hurricane or a <clears throat> or uh, if in fact the wind turbine gets struck by lightning any any of those kinds of things it's it's going to shut down and disconnect but you don't need to take precautions to prevent it it's just too bad if it happens d the batteries from overcharging well not all grid intertie systems have batteries those uh, systems that do have batteries, you definitely don't want them to overcharge or totally deplete. However, some systems, like the one I'm about to show you now, don't have batteries. So in, in a case like that, the fact that this doesn't have batteries means that if the wind stops blowing and the utility company goes down so that you have a power failure from the utility company if both of those things happen at the same time you are out of luck or during a hurricane for example when your wind turbine might either be destroyed or have to shut down because it can't function in that kind of an environment and the power fails <clears throat> you're going to be out of luck so it's it's nice to have a system that does have that option for battery 
backup. But you do not want this AC right here that comes out of this power inverter. You do not want that AC to conflict in phase with the AC from the utility. Because if that happens, you're going to have a problem. So you need to keep them in phase and that's uh, what this power directing and and regulation circuit and all of this electronics this sophisticated stuff will do it will prevent it'll keep the wind turbine uh, output from the power inverter in phase with the utility AC so again the answer to this question is B we want to avoid a situation where these sources of power here are not in phase with each other.